Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about something that is so important that you need to know to help your hair progress in your transitioning process. That is hair porosity. Okay, so basically hair porosity is the amount of moisture that your hair is able to take in. And there are three types to hair porosity. The first one is low porosity. The second one is normal and the third is high. So me, myself, I have low porosity and the way you could test for porosity is basically you take a bowl, fill it up with water, and then you pull out a strand from your hair. Usually it's best to do it like from the root, but if you can't, then just do any strand and then you put it in the bowl of water. If it sinks immediately, then you have high porosity. If it floats, then you have low porosity. And if like some of it sinks and some of it is still above water, then you have normal porosity. So when I did the test, my hair completely floated. None of it sank. So basically, when you have um, low porosity, that means like, your hair cannot take in moisture as well as having high porosity, deep, deep conditioner. You need to use heat, like you need to sit under the blow dryer. And yeah, like you just need to constantly moisturize your hair so that the moisture can stay in your hair because it just, you have a lot of product buildup when you have low porosity. You need to stick to a lot of milks, like such as Shea Moisture Curl and Style Milk. And yeah, basically you don't need to do cold water rinses. You know how when they say to rinse with cold water after you washed it, washed all the product out with warm water to sh keep the cuticle shut. When you have low porosity, you don't do that. So that's what I do. Now I just feel like I have to start all over and buy more products. Like now I'm gonna research a bunch of products new products like a bunch of milks that i'm gonna buy but i just feel like it's a good thing to do because if you don't do it then you could be using the wrong products the whole time while you transition you do have a certain hair porosity and you're using the different like the opposite products that you shouldn't be using like don't feel discouraged or anything like you guys should feel encouraged because now think about how you're gonna get all the right products in the future and stuff and now you can actually start your transitioning pro process but everything is worth it i know it's going to be worth it in the end no matter how long it takes like patience is a virtue so be very patient in what you're doing if you find out something you don't like don't be upset because it will get better like your hair will get better now just look on the bright side now you know what to use for your once you find out your hair porosity everything from then on will be so much easier because you'll know like what you need to use and you'll know that it's the right products instead of being a product junkie and buying fifty thousand products and using every single one and not one of them working so yeah make sure you guys take the test and thank you for watching. I just felt like I should share this with you because I learned something new about my hair.